What is going on guys, this is Lucas and I'm actually bringing you a video in the middle of the week. I don't usually do these but I really should because I did promise it to you guys. But I'm bringing you a gameplay now. This is a hardpoint gameplay, league play, 4v4, the typical kind of thing. I do end up choking a 70 bomb, I pick up 69 kills and 27 deaths. Uh, but it's a pretty good gameplay and I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm playing it with DMG Martin or James as you might know him and SMA, uh, two good friends of mine. And well, this is a pretty good game, so I hope you enjoy it. This will be a competitive breakdown video uh, because I wanted to do one and because, well, this is a freaking awesome gameplay. So without much further ado, I'm going to jump into it. So off the start, you will see me stunning um, over the pool side and over the shack side. This I do so that the people and the objective players inside of the hard point are protected from the people rushing them and so I can get control of the shack side. This shack side, as you can see uh, right now, I'm picking up this guy, didn't get my shots on. I can try and control because you can actually you have pretty good cover and you can see a lot of the map. You can rotate forward and backwards, you can keep on moving and you can pick up a lot of kills. If you keep on looking forwards and backwards, you can kind of predict when they're going to rush you and you can get loads of kills. Now, I'm not sure why I rushed that because there was only 12 seconds left, but I do have two score, stre score streaks and SMA is doing a great job anchoring and we get really nice spawns. And that is the main thing that you guys want to do on hardpoint. Uh, a few principal things, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys know these base, hardpoint basics, but I'll go through them anyway. What you want to do on hardpoint is that whenever you have uh, a hardpoint, it's going to move in 20 seconds you want to rotate to it uh, by rotate I mean move to it and try and get the spawns for it so that you're par preparing to get the spawns for the next hard point while having uh, so you should usually send two people to the next one with 20 seconds left and you keep uh, the rest of the two guys on your team in the old hard point that way you get the points on this old one but also have control the next one because you don't want to be running into people pre-aiming you you want to be the person pre-aiming to give yourself the territory advantage and uh, so you can set up easier um, and you can it's, ju it's just easier that way and that's how people do it um, so that's what you'll see me do be doing a lot um, I'm sure you guys know what an anchor is but SMA is that what I mean by anchoring um, when I mention it an anchor is a person that basically sits in a spot on the map and tries to stay alive to hold the spawns for the team uh, the spawns that they usually uh, that the anchor usually holds are very near to the hard point so when you die you don't have to spawn the other side of the map and take uh, 10 or 15 seconds running to the hard point and you can get straight in that way uh, you can easily pick off the enemy team and they have to spawn much further away and you can spawn right next to it and it's just much easier for you to control um, the the hard point and get loads of time on it and win the game. It's actually a very crucial point. If you saw the COD Championships and unluckily after Clost, uh, you will see Fariko Parasai, who is considered one of the top anchors, do a really great job staying alive on, on, on the anchor spots, um, or where you suppose, anchor spots are basically where the anchor is supposed to sit or stay. Uh, and the main job of the anchor is to stay alive, but you will see him um, being very good is because he knows when to challenge gunfights, when to not challenge gunfights, and he stays a lot alive a lot, and that gives um, Fariko Impact a really big advantage on hard point because their players are always very near the hard point and they don't have to do much work if the if parasite stays alive but that, that's about that now this bottom hard point or below hard point or what you want to call it underground the third hard point is actually very hard to break guys um, this team wasn't very good at uh, setting up because it wasn't a team it was just uh, single players playing and this guy is just not letting us through, which is really stupid. BMG were actually shouting at him, even though he wasn't here. It's like, move, move. But this bottom hard point usually is kind of hard to break because, as you can see, guys, there's only two choke points uh, from which you can get into the hard point. And usually it's very, very hard to get in because if you have two shotgun people sitting in there and head glitching, there's almost nothing that you can do. So it's really, really important to set up first on our hard point and get 60 seconds. As you can see, their team did get a lot of, get a lot of points and uh, get loads of time on it, but this one is hard to break. And as you can see, I pick up a three piece. Um, this is actually going to be in the clan stage, guys. I'm not going to talk about more about the clan stage, just to keep us surprised. Uh, but I'll let you know that there are going to be two clan sages. One is going to be for SMD, and the other is going to be for hardpoint and CTF. The reason uh, that is is because I have loads of clips. I got Henry's clips yesterday, all 18 of them, and they are pretty goddamn awesome. Um, but me and Henry are not the only people that are going to do have the clips, um, so do look out for that. I'm not sure when that will be up, but I'm kind of busy at the moment, so I'm just trying to get this video out. But the montage will not be done soon. But I'm just warning you that it will, when it will be out, it will be good cast, and I hope you guys enjoy it. As you can see, I went on a merciless streak, uh, so I was having a pretty, game, pretty good game right here. And since my team is very near the hard point, I do want to clear them out so that uh, my OBJ players can get in. Now, as soon as they do, I want to rush out and pick up kills, but I'm not sure if I do. I actually stay in this hard point for a bit. Anyway, I finally do get out of it and uh, pick up these skills. And guys, you won't really see ARs played on this map just because it is a close range situation. I'm pretty sure you guys all know, but pick a gun that suits you, your playstyle, but also the map. Um, Maps like Raid, um, Slayers won't usually use SMGs on our map just because it was long range. I, I consider myself a Slayer and I would much rather use an SMG on this map than an AR just because it's close range. I mean, it's very, very simple, but if you have a gun good gun choice, it's, it's, it's really to your advantage. You do much, much better. 
Um, as you can see, I used this Hellstorm on this person, and luckily he does have Flak Jacket. And, um, and then we are rotating for the new hardpoint. As you can see, the guy uh, on the minimap behind me, that's SM8. He's going all the way around so you can sit at the back and get the good spawns. And luckily, he doesn't do that successfully enough, and I do get bad spawns for the time being. But we are ahead, and I think he's in the anchor spot right now. Now we have a really good setup. We have two people in a hard point, and I'm just rushing out of here because I am, you know, trying to. I'm kill whoring basically. I'm trying to pick up a lot of kills. Um, re and really, I should have done that because I leave myself exposed. I'm way too open, and I'm not really helping the person inside a hard point too much. Yes, I mean I'm throwing myself out there and I'm kind of covering the front, but it's not very advantageous for my team. Ah, oh, a lot of speaking. So you will see DMG Martin or James uh, control this uh, hard point pretty well right now. I don't really have to do anything. I'm just watching his um, left side of the map while uh, the rest of the teammates at the back are holding the spawns and watching the flanks. Um, and he's just picking up a lot of kills now with 18 seconds left. By the way, I missed that guy when I was playing. The guy just I just passed the guy and enemy uh, going up the ladder. I want to rotate to his hard point. I do push through here because that's what I'm going to be coming from. This is the guy that was chasing me. I didn't really know that he was chasing me. It was kind of lucky that I turned around to get him. And this is a nice spot that you will see in a second, guys. I put up the skill and I sit behind this ladder. Now, people usually come in here, nade, as you can see, a nade. They will jump in and they will never check this um, because they expect you to be lying down. I really shouldn't have moved out of this position. Uh, and I got picked off. And as you can see, three people are pushing the hard point. But if you sit there, you won't obviously be able to sit there for too long because people will catch up to what you're doing and you have to vary your way you sit. Um, camp, um, maybe. Um, as you can see, that's where people expect you to be, but uh, where that guy was lying. But that spot is pretty good if you want to pick up a first few or two or three kills to get uh, control for your team. I'm trying to nade in because, as I said, guys, it's pretty hard to control and this uh, hard point is being contested. I do take control of it and our teammate comes from the back and luckily he gets picked off. But I see that on the minimap that he was picked up, and I keep on challenging these guys from the ladder. The reason I do keep on getting these kills, guys, is because they know where they're going to be come from, and that's just me knowing the spawns, and that's very, very useful. Um, a good player not, cannot just be, uh, you know, an amazing sled. You can't be an amazing sled in short without knowing the spawns, and and you have to know the spawns. So as you can see, the timer is coming down. So I was trying to get into the kitchen hard point. Uh, our rotation was a bit slow, and I did get picked up by a shotgun person. Um, what you really want to do against better teams, guys, is to go ra around. It sounds kind of silly, but if you go up the ladder, you don't really have you have your gun down. You can't pick up people, and uh, you'll just get killed off the sh uh, off the um, ladder when you're going up. And like I do get naded, uh, but we do get really good spawns here. And you'll see me in a second. This hard point is kind of strange as well. This map is just kind of full, way of, uh, full of way of strange places because and now when you kind of have two sections of that building, which is the kitchen bit, uh, which you can head glitch, and the kind of like tables bit. Um, and usually if you have the good teams and the team defender, the hard point is in the, in the kitchen and the people, that are the enemy team that are contesting in the room. So what you will see me usually, I get a really bad spawn here by the way. What you usually will see me do um, in some maps is to actually flank around the sides of that hard point uh, that's up right now. To kind of distract the people attacking a hard point, stop them from coming into this area where I am right now. Because as you can see, you can just sit in here, there's a lot of spaces you can be at and people rush you, they don't know where you are. And you can just pick up a lot of kills. So uh, what I do is I flank around the side, uh, get kills, uh, protect my teammates, and watch the f uh, right side and the front. I think that's a really good position where I am right now, actually. Um, when, when the other hard point is up. Obviously, I challenge this guy because in this game, I'm just challenging everyone. Um, I do love challenging, guys. Um, if you watch my videos, you know that I love challenging. I love rushing, and I love aggressive game styles, and rah, rah, rah. Um, but I'm just picking up kills over here, and actually, I um, jump to the hard point because obviously, you do have to play objective. It, it's really stupid to call yourself a slayer and then just not be a team player and not jump into the hard points because if your team is not in there then it's just stupid for you to slay but not play the objective because you are trying to win. There I just missed my shots uh, but it's all good because the MG Martin will pick up a sick, sick, sick four piece uh, and now we have control of the hard point and now I see because my team where the enemy is going to be and I do charge the person but again I'm being overzealous not pre-aiming and I keep on being picked off here. Um, and you can tell a lot from where your players spawn to where the enemy team will spawn um, so yeah, that's another thing that I think you should pay attention to. I'm just trying to throw out tips, guys, that, that I'm kind of um, thinking about while I'm doing this commentary so that if you don't, guys don't know something, uh, if you do, uh, anyway, I can just go over it and uh, maybe teach you guys something, or if not, if you guys know this stuff, then you can just enjoy, enjoy the gameplay and critique my critiquing of my gameplay, if that makes any sense. Now, as you can see, it's literally impossible for the enemy team to win. Uh, we did go huge on the last few hard points, and currently I am aware that I'm close to 70 bomb. So I'm being really aggressive and trying to get those kills. I'm stunning him just to slow the enemy team down. As you can see, this guy is stunned, so he can't get me. So I pick up two kills here. I pick up another third one front door. And I'm, again, I'm rushing forward just to get another kill. I do get one more, but I get picked up by a shotgunner who actually kills me like three or four times in a row. 
Um, and I, after this health stomach, I'm really short. I finished 6937, I think I said already. With 10 caps, 50 defense, I think. Um, and it's a pretty good game. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. And um, I'm quite busy, but this game was... I wanted to just get this gameplay out there. Anyway, I do, I do hope you enjoy. And um, on the screen, what you will see in a second... Uh, now, probably, um, is...